Hi, my name is James Shepard, and today I wanted to talk to you about content marketing in merchant services. Content marketing in merchant services. Now, I really believe that this is one of these areas where people just have totally the wrong idea about how to leverage a content marketing system. In merchant services, let me just give you a little tip. <clears throat> you are not going to be able to compete online right now in terms of, you know, my content's gonna come up first on Google. Well, maybe, but it's gonna come after 24 months of you spending three or four hours a day on it. So, you know, you have a long road ahead of you before that's gonna make you any money at all. The way to really leverage content marketing is, I'm gonna kinda of give you, really I'm just gonna basically lay out a strategy for you that I guarantee you would make you a ton of money, and I'm gonna give it to you for free because I know that it will work, but I wanna, I wanna share some stuff with you. So, if I was out doing merchant services sales full-time right now, again, I'll tell you exactly what I would do. Step number one is, I would create a show about local small business owners. So I live in Altoona, Pennsylvania. I would create the you know, Altoona, Pennsylvania Small Business Show or the Blair County Small Business Show or whatever, right? You create that show. Then what you do is every single week you go out and you interview local business owners. You could do it as a podcast, a video would be better. You know, again, you can get a, a stand from Walmart and one of those little things to hold your phone, like a phone clip on, the, on a tripod, set that thing up and just stand behind their counter with them and just say, hey, do you mind if I stop in? Like, what time do you close tomorrow? Seven? What if I stopped in here at seven? Could you take like 10 minutes and interview for the Blair County Small Business Show? People are gonna eat that up, okay? So what you do is, you stand behind the counter, you interview them, give them their questions ahead of time. This is really, really important. If I'm gonna interview somebody, then a week before I interview them, I'm gonna send them, here are the list of questions I'm gonna ask you so that they can prepare and so that you're prepared for it, right? So you go in there, you record the show, you have it on your phone there, then what you do is you create a Facebook page for your show and you post that show on there and you spend a little bit of money, not much, probably about 50 bucks a week would be good. Spend about $50 a week promoting that show to other local small business owners on Facebook. And all you have to do is find people that are located within 10 miles of your area that have an interest in small business, okay? And just start promoting that, promoting it, promoting it. Now, let me explain the two things that are gonna happen as a result of you doing content marketing that way. Number one, you're gonna sell almost everybody that you interview, okay? So if you had a show and your goal was to have three interviews put together every week for a show, like three segments, you could probably sell three people a week if you just pulled that off. How will you do that? Because when you walk into the business, you don't tell them anything about your business initially. What you do is you just say, you know, hey, my name is James Shepard. Um, I host a, uh, well, you don't say that. I would say that. You would say your name. You got that right? Um, but, you know, I'd say, hey, I'm James Shepard. I've got, I'm the host of the Blair County Small Business Show. And we just would like to interview your small business, um, something our business has been working on lately. So if you don't mind, is there a time I can stop by and take five or 10 minutes of your time? I'll send you the interview questions a week in advance. And then I'd like to just interview you and talk a little bit about your business and, and you know, how you came to the area or whatever. Whatever. They're going to say, sure, they're going to love that idea. You come and have the conversation. As soon as the camera's off, they're going to want to talk to you more about what you do, right? And that's your perfect opportunity to talk to them about the merchant services, explain what you do, and you're already going to have an amazing rapport that you otherwise would never get. So that is going to be an extremely difficult strategy to pull off for many of you. If you think it's something that you can pull off, go for it because I promise you that's when it's going to work short term to get you sales. And of course, long term, a year from now, a lot of people are going to watch your show. And that, of course, your show is brought to you by the Blair County Small Business Show brought to you by XYZ Processing Company process payments for less, whatever it is, right? So there's your content marketing strategy and how you can do a lot more in the merchant services industry to make sales.